What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you four of the best fisheye lenses to use on your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Alright, so over the course of the last couple of years, I've probably gone through at least 30 of these types of accessories. Um, I think these are some of the best that you can use. I've tested them all out on this S9, so they all fit really good. I'm going to throw links in the description for all of them if you want to check any of them out. And I've got some uh, photos I've already taken using them, so you can kind of see what you'll what you get when using them. And um, you know, I'm just going to go through each one. So the first one we've got here is going to be the Aki Aura. This is one of my favorites. Uh, it was actually one of the first lenses I ever bought. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. I think it's pr probably about that old. It's got an aluminum alloy, you know, design on it. It's got a great build, so you can kind of see like the cutout design. Aki makes some really good lenses, and then of course, like the front glass is uh, fingerprint, uh, smudge proof, and scratch proof. This all works with this little clip on right here. All of these have clip ons. I'll show you how they, uh, you know, fit on the back of this S9. I want to pull up some pictures though. So basically, when you're using, you know, these types of accessories on the back of your camera, um, it's going to help you pick up a lot more detail on photos. They do help with far away shots and they also give you a better wide angle shot so you get more of the uh, picture. Anyways, we've got a couple portraits in here and landscapes I took basically of my cat. So you can kind of see a little bit here. I got this close up one of, uh, it's one of my girl cats, Roxy. We had a nice little, um, you know, landscape photo right there, but you're getting more of the photo. Uh, another thing about using these types of uh, accessories is that they're universal with like every phone out there. So. Um, you know, the most expensive one I have in here is going to be like around 30, 35 bucks, but, um, you know, they're great investments for future phones. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you can use these, you know, later on as well. Anyways, I just have a few photos in here while taking them. Uh, let's get into the Aki. I want to throw it on the back of this S9. I want to pull up the listing for it. Currently it's got about 300 reviews on it. Uh, you know, four out of five stars, 30 bucks. Um, I really think you can't beat it. I mean, these are like... If you had to buy like a DSLR lens, like in general, those are upwards of a couple hundred to a few hundred dollars. Uh, when you're getting one of these for like 30 bucks, it's impossible to complain. Now, this has a great fit. Uh, the clip-on is very nice on this thing. I mean, I like doing a shake test when I put these on so you can kind of see that they do stay on really well, even with the uh, glass design on the S9 or S9 Plus. I mean, they stay on really good. Anyways, that is the Aki. Uh, another thing as far as like the specs on this one, other than like the aluminum alloy build and whatnot, you'll get about 15 times zoom uh, when using it. And like I said, you get the wide angle uh, as well. All right, so the next one I want to get into is the BC Master. This one's a little bit of a hidden gem. It's not as popular, but uh, it's really nice. It's got a nice price point on it of 20 bucks. It's got an aluminum alloy uh, build and design. It's got the uh, um, coating on the front glass, which is good. And then the clip on here has got a little rubberized thing on the back of it. So it fits really well. It's got a little bit less of a, a, a clip on, like it's not as long as the Aki, but do you want to pull up the listing for it real quick? All right, so the BC Master, it's only got about 84 reviews, but it sells for 20 bucks. So you really can't beat the price point on this thing. And uh, let's just throw it on the back here, check out the fit. So it's got a nice firm fit to it. Perfect fit, actually. A little bit of a shake test on it. Like I said, uh, everything's really good with this one. And uh, you know, you get that 15 times zoom, and then you've got the wide angle shots as well. Just a really, uh, another really good camera accessory to check out. Let's get back in here. All right, the next one I'm going to be showing you is a beast. Um, it's the Zenvo. Uh, the Zenvo is very unique for one reason. It has a, a flashlight attachment that comes with it. I don't have it right now with me, but you can actually take some really nice night photos when you attach the uh, flashlight feature to it. As far as like the clip-on, it's got a nice clip-on. It's got a rubberized backing. Uh, the, the front glass also has that coating and it's aluminum alloy as well. It's got a lot of reviews on the Zenvo. It, it's, all, it's been one of my favorites, especially for Android phones. Um, but anyways, it's got over a thousand reviews on it now. It's got a really cool looking stock photo and it sells for about 30 bucks. It's a bestseller and honestly, uh, you know, after using it for quite a while right now, um, you know, I could tell you that it really is that good. Anyways, I'm throwing it on the back of here. We'll do a little bit of a shake test, but the Zenvo is, it's sweet. I mean, it's a really nice lens for sure. All right, let's get back into our uh, our final one right here. So the last one I, I, I threw into the mix here is going to be the Zoe Touch. 
anybody who's looking <clears throat> to uh, maybe save a few bucks and maybe wants like a starter lens, I, I threw it in here because it's, it's a good one for beginners. Now, it's got a 125 times zoom on it. It's got a nice clip on and uh, it works well, you know what I'm saying? But the price point on it is really good. It's, it's pretty cheap, so let's see. <clears throat> it only sells for 20 bucks. It's got four out of five star reviews on it, which is good. It's a really good starter lens. So if you don't wanna spend like 30 bucks on some of these other ones or even upwards of uh, the mid 20s, you know, you could check this one out. It's got a nice fit to it and uh, it's got that aluminum alloy, you know, build and design on it as well. So anyways, just doing a little bit of a shake test. All right, I just wanna do a recap on all of these. Like I said, um, you know, we've got, the Aki Aura, which is one of the best out there for sure. Um, it's been one of my favorites. It's got a really nice design build on it. We got the Zenvo. Uh, you'll get about 12.5 times zoom on this baby. It comes with a, a flashlight feature. And it's a really high quality lens as well. The BC Master, like I said, this is a hidden gem. Not as popular, but uh, it works really well. It's got a nice price point on it. And then of course, uh, we've got the Zoe Touch up here. Now, I just want to recap one more time here. These will definitely make a difference in, you know, any kind of like photography that you're going to be shooting with your S9 or S9 Plus. The fact that they're also universal with other phones, um, that's awesome, right? So, I mean, you're really going to get your money's worth on these. You know, you can look at them as a camera uh, accessory investment that'll be good for, you know, years to come. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're just awesome. So anyways, I'll have links in the description for all of them. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about using them. And uh, if you could also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll